Uh, hello guys and welcome to my new video. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to create a remember me function. For example if you have a login screen in your app and when a user checks a remember me box when logging, you want to make sure that the app redirects a user to welcome page every single time until the user logs out. So in this app uh, I have created the two activities, uh, first for a login and the second a welcome activity where a user can uh, simply log out so uh, this is just a simple and basic uh, layout so go ahead on uh, main activity java and uh, let's first um, create uh, two variables for edit text for uh, one for checkbox and uh, one for button we don't actually need uh, those two uh, edit text but I have uh, I want to uh, mention them here as well. So let's find the ID of each of those uh, elements from our uh, main activity uh, activity main layout. So the next is check uh, remember me box. Okay, and the last one is a button, a login button. Okay, so. Uh, in this video, uh, in this application, we're going to use a share preference preferences um, class. I'll talk more about this class uh, a little bit later. But first, let's create an on-click method on our button. So whenever user clicks button, uh, clicks uh, login button, it will uh, redirect user to our welcome uh, activity. So just create an intent object and pass two parameters main activity and our welcome activity okay now that we have created the on click listener uh, we need to create a share preferences object so a share preferences uh, object creates a file on our uh, storage and uh, in that file we have a uh, key value uh, pairs uh, and we use those pairs to check if a uh, user um, actually check the the checkbox or not so we are going to use uh, first of all I uh, will use a checkbox method set on checked change listener and uh, in this uh, on check change method we are going to say if compound button or checkbox is checked and if uh, it's not checked so now if uh, our checkbox remember, remember me is checked then uh, we're going to create a key value pair in our shared preferences um, with a value true you'll see now so first uh, let's create our uh, shared preferences object so get shared preferences and the first parameter we need to pass a file name the file name will be checkbox and the second parameter will be mode private so that uh, only our application can read uh, these preferences and next share preferences dot editor so uh, we'll create that object as well and uh, let's say editor dot put string so if our uh, checkbox is checked then we're going to put a string of key and value pair uh, key will be remember and uh, value will be true and then just uh, use method apply to save this uh, this file uh, next uh, we're going to uh, set a toast simple toast message uh, which will say checked and we're going to copy all this code and paste it here in else if block and we'll replace this true to false and uh, toast message check to unchecked Okay, so now that we have that, uh, we can uh, create one more uh, shared preferences object, but uh, on the top of this uh, on create method. Mm, okay, uh, it is uh, important that you uh, create uh, this code uh, on the top of the on create method because this code will uh, check each time the application starts. It will check for um, shared preferences file. And uh, if it's um, true, if our uh, key and uh, if our value is true, then it will redirect our activity to the welcome activity. And if it's false, it will 
show a simple toast message. So again, I use a share preferences object to get uh, our file, which is uh, named checkbox. Of course, mode will be private, so that um, only our application can read this file. And we're use we're going to use this time uh, our preferences object to get the string. So we're passed two parameters. The first parameter is a key, which is a remember, and the second parameter is an empty string, because uh, this empty string uh, will uh, represent our uh, read the value. So we're going to put this value in a string named, uh, let's say, checkbox. So in this string, string checkbox, we're going to put this uh, uh, value from a key remember. And we'll say if checkbox equals to true and else if checkbox equals to false. So uh, if checkbox equals to true, then we're going to... Um, Okay, first let's do for false. If uh, checkbox is uh, not checked, or if uh, our will say uh, please sign in, and if uh, our uh, value is true, then we are going to say uh, application to uh, start the next activity, which is a welcome activity. Okay, so. We have that created uh, on our uh, main activity. So first, uh, okay, let's check out uh, the official documentation for share preferences. I will put this link in the description. So if you have a relatively small collection of key values that you put, uh, you would like to save, you should uh, use the share preferences APIs. And there is much more text here you should read to get familiar with this class. But for now, uh, let's just uh, let's just uh, we're going to run this application. But as you can see, uh, the first thing when the app is running, uh, it will it will check for uh, this share preferences file, and if the checkbox is uh, true, then uh, it will uh, if. Uh, key is true it will run the second activity immediately and if it's false it will just spawn a message please sign in and uh, after that it will uh, based on the user's activity if the user checks or unchecks the checkbox it will um, save the true or false in this shared preferences file i hope uh, you understand how this works it's pretty simple you just use um, a file to read the values from and um, okay i think now we should uh, run our application to see uh, how it works uh, still we need to uh, uh, write simple code in our welcome activity for a logout button a, log a logout button is simply um, writing a false uh, value in the share preferences file but first let's run the app Okay, now that we have our app, uh, let's see how it works. If you check this remember me uh, checkbox, it will spawn a message checked. And if we unchecked, it will uh, spawn toast message unchecked. If you can see, it works perfectly. Okay, and if we click login with the uh, unchecked box, it will just uh, lead us to, uh, to a second activity. And now we need to, um, now we need to, okay, as, as you can see, it uh, redirects us immediately in our welcome activity because we have checked uh, the checkbox and uh, our value is true now in this file checkbox. But if we, uh, so now we'll make, uh, we'll open our uh, welcome activity, but first, uh, I want to um, mention again, if you understand this correctly. Okay, go to welcome activity and let's uh, initialize our button and say find the ID of our logout button. And next, uh, 
After that, we're going to set on click listener. So whenever a user clicks log out, it will uh, replace the value of true, if there is any, to a value false in our share preferences file. So uh, I think it, it, um, it should be better if we just copy and paste the code from our main activity. So we don't have to uh, write this uh, from the start because we already have the full code. So head over to uh, main activity and let's copy this, uh, this code here and paste it. Uh, we just need to remove this toast message and there we go. So whenever the user clicks log out, it will replace uh, the remember, uh, uh, it will replace this uh, value to false. So there you go, we have run our app and it will immediately redirect us. And we, when we clicked a log out, it uh, replaced the true value to false. So whenever, uh, if we run our application again, it will uh, not redirect us automatically like before because we have logged out. It uh, it works pretty fine. So we have uh, logged in with uh, unchecked box and when we log in again, open our app, it will not redirect us. And if we check, check remember me box and open app again, it will redirect us immediately to our second activity. And we, when we click log out, again it will log us out so that's pretty much it i hope you uh, enjoyed this video this function remember function can be pretty useful when you are creating a a bit a complex application so that was it for this tutorial i hope you enjoyed um, thank you for watching and see you next video